That was the radiation treatment. And what was the illness? Cancer? Cancer. Cancer in the tongue and two tumours in the neck. They thought you were going to die? Yeah. They would be happy if it stopped growing and they could remove my tongue. That was, that was their... That would have been a result for them. It's only been since Christmas that I could swallow anything like... You can't call it solid food because all I eat is stews and casseroles and soups. But I'm eating proper food, I'm cooking, I've got a few hobbies, jigsaws, books, GFY, sleeping, looking after my daughter. Uh, and uh, I, lead a, I've, I lead a full retirement. The business has taken a very uh, strange turn. I think 12 years ago, 11 years ago, whatever, people decided the way to sell porn was to give it away for free. That's just crazy. You go in the supermarket, they give you a free biscuit trying to sell a packet. You go on, you go online looking for porn. They give you a free supermarket. I was making a post and somebody said, what? When, when are you coming back to shooting? And I said, I'm never coming back to shooting for the money that they're paying. So somebody said, how much do you want? And I said, $3,000 for, for a set. And Fabian of Manwin offered me $3,000 for a scene. I'm not turning that down. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna pay for my, it's gonna pay for my dog and his food for the rest of his life. <laughs> Just what you got. Name the price. That's Fabian. He picked up my challenge. I said, pay me the right money. He said, tell me the price. I told you the price, 3,000 for a solo girl set and video. I am honestly looking forward to this, to be honest. I'd love to see what he can do for us which was nice. He had some pay sites which weren't that successful and then all of a sudden he came up with a vast amount of money to open, to buy Manwin with. Bet you don't know how many bloody toilets there is in the office and he doesn't. He doesn't seem to know a lot about the company he bought. My main disagreement with him is if he owns this big, successful, profitable company, is he could separate himself from the rest of the market by creating something in his members area that sets him apart. Brazzers isn't bad, but it's by no means good. I'm pretty sure if I was running MoFos that the membership would was a climb. Of that, I'm extremely confident. I'm not that good a photographer. Are you? Are you saying you're not a good, a good photographer? No, I'm a. <laughs> I'm not a photographer. To call me a photographer is an insult. I'm photographers. I'm a pornographer. I use a camera like an author uses a computer. The tool I use is personality to make a girl do what I need her to do. The camera is just something that records it. I'm ready to shoot. All I do is, I, uh, you know, once we get in the apartment, I'll have my uh, cat nap. BVF. This is what professional lights look like. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's where I'm looking from. No, F-16. Sorry, F-16. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks. Oh, you, you. Thank you. What? I love going on. No, no, no. Vibrator, strip tease, a lot of this. Yeah. Climax, keep going. Just, you know what the massage is like. Just keep going. Hopefully you have had a lot of fun. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> He's really funny. 
and then you go home with lots of money. <laughs> okay. You know my history, the last two, two and a half years with Ebra and yes, being cancer. My mouth goes dry from the cancer. Yeah. Because my saliva glands are absolutely dead. Water. There it is. Oh, I haven't worked, but I'm still on the message boards telling people how it should be done. And somebody chat, somebody asked, what would it take to get you back to shoot? And I said, a lot of money. And somebody actually gave me a lot of money, so I'm paying you a lot of money to do a few hours work and everybody's earning lots of money. And uh, this good man is here to film it as a documentary to make sure it's actually happening. It's actually me doing it. Because they were, every, everybody thought it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't be me. But I can do it, can't I? Can I? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure now. Cut. Oh. That was it. That's it? Yep. This is so genius. You can, this is professional business like attitude on a porn shoot. Yeah. Oh, yo, I like the. Oh, I like the. Yeah, big massage. Yeah. Oh. Never touch a model. Oh. Yeah, in your dreams. So this is the script you wrote, Paul? Yeah. The script I was given was very colour loose, and I thought I would add some things to it to make it. A little bit more interesting. Give me some Zadik. Let me the Zadik. Look at me, I'm a good looking boy. Don't laugh. Shooting kept me fit. I'm a very active shooter. I, I bounce around and generate a lot of energy in shooting. Stay there. She's taking more out of me than I expected. If you need, need breaks, then yeah. yeah. Okay. Just take a break. At least with Sandra, I'm working with somebody that actually knows what to do. This would be a nightmare if it wasn't such a great model. Yeah. Because. <laughs> this is what throat cancer does to you. And two years sitting on a sofa. <coughs> I've literally been sitting on the sofa for about two years because I had no energy. I miss doing this. Mm. You know, it's great. It's great meeting a great girl, shooting her, you know, having an enjoyable afternoon. I do miss that.
but I could I couldn't do it again. Look, I've been shooting for about 15 minutes and I need a rest. They can go for a coffee and say it's just me and you. Mm. Yeah. Also, you're okay. We go for coffee. You guys are going out for a coffee. So how'd it go, Paul? Very, very, very good. Yeah. Uh, better than I expected. Really, why is that? Sandra, Sandra was absolutely brilliant. You know, very, very little prompting. You know, she knew what to do. We got this relationship going. And she was able to let go in front of me. It's good to get it under my belt again. You know, I feel like I've achieved something. And to be honest, you know, there are better shooters to be had for the kind of money I want. Um, and look at me. I always feel I could do better. I hated editing because I, I'm so self-critical. I don't come across like that on, on the boards. You know, I come across as a noble, but I am very self-critical. I won't have... A lot of fun home. Do you know what this is going to cost you? <laughs> Do you know what this is going to... This is a kiss. Rub on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I used to get fun with She that. smile. <laughs> no, she doesn't like them. I have fun. Come on, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again. Yeah, you want to come around for dinner? Maybe I go with Eva some sometimes. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> <laughs> you come with us. What skating? Beyond proving it to them, did you prove something to yourself today? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the main major reasons I did it. I wanted to know what what I could do again. Yeah. Bugger what they think. I just, honestly I don't care what they think. I really don't. It's nice when they say something nice about me, but I really don't care what they think. I've had a very successful career, which supposedly, maybe, maybe not over. I've had th three decades doing this. You know, made some money, had some fun, got a great wife and family out of it. Jesus. You know, some of those guys that are having a go at me, they'll never, never be where I am today. Some of them are going to be, as we say, flipping burgers for McDonald's. Viv Thomas is, you know, still got a great sight, but he knows it won't last forever. You know, these guys, we've all made our money. You know, uh, the problem is that we were too old to learn the brilliant online marketing of giving it away for free. You know, it was way beyond our, our intelligence level that we, that we should be giving our product away for free to a thousand people to sell to one, you know. We, we could never get that concept because we were too old. This was where the tube was. Oh, so you ate, that's how you that's ate? That's how I was, uh, I didn't eat, you can't call it eating, but that's where I was injecting food into me. Then they said an operation. Then I had the, <coughs> the spectre of, a, of losing my tongue over my head. So for a couple of weeks you actually thought there was a good chance you would not have a tongue after all this? Oh yeah. Oh, I was terrified. I came back and they said, no, don't need surgery. And as I said, that's when I kissed the, dog, the, the head honcho. <laughs> He's about 45 with the beard. <laughs> it was traumatic time. But, you know, it's things like that that make you stronger. You know, ever had a very bad accident, and it's, that's made us and ever stronger. You know, when I... People had a go at me on GFY about posting her pictures, you know, when she was uh, on life support. But that, I'm, I'm exceedingly proud of her, that she's fought her way back. It's not about when she was down, it's about where she is now. You know, 
and I was pretty low at one time and now I'm back and I've actually done a, re a real shoot again. That's me getting my radiation treatment. This is what Michael Douglas and I both went through. And I actually vomited up in, inside that a few times and it's a very scary feeling. Very scary. Because you're going to vomit and you're scared you're going to uh, suffocate. As I pointed out, it wasn't that long ago he was begging for money here. It was two years ago, Damien. Two and a half years, actually. I wasn't begging, I was offering any deal that anybody would take. And that was because my wife was uh, in hospital, uh, what's the word, in, in a coma, and she was unable to sign over, uh, what is it, power of attorney on the bank account to me. I had fat servers to pay, I had staff to pay, I had rent to pay, and I offered anybody who wanted content at any price to make me a deal, to give me a deal. And that was be me begging for money. Yeah, I was begging for money, I was in shit. Damien seems to think that all guys with cameras are pervs. He posted on Twitter that I was a paedophile. Absolutely moronic. Uh, that I hang out outside school, that I chase 12 year olds, 13 year olds, 9 year olds, I can't bloody remember. The guy's clueless, he hasn't got a clue what I like. I definitely got a more healthy uh, approach towards sex than he has. The girl next door, somebody, uh, I think probably 15, 16, the girl sunbathing next door topless. <sighs> Damien, seriously, get a life. You know, I can walk down the swimming pool. There's dozens of them down there sunbathing topless. Why bother? It's a 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 28, 30 year old woman, sunbathing topless. Get a life. There's a nudist beach, not that far. I can go sit on there. Who cares? It's a nudist beach. Get a life. You know, I think that says his attitude towards this says more about his sexual uh, views than mine. His sexual interests than mine. I don't find it unusual that a 15, 16 year old girl someplace topless. Hell, her dad's the bloody mayor. He don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. The mayor? Yeah, he's the local mayor. It's get a life, Damien. Don't it. find 15 year old girls sexually arousing. They're attractive, they're pretty, they're bloody goddamn teasing. They've just found out what they can do to men. They are, they are predatory, especially here. Especially here, they flirt outrageously. They're aware of their sexuality and the power of it. Hello? It's like a 15-year-old boy suddenly becomes aware he's building muscles. You know. And here they are very open sexually. And the girls will tease. Get a life. You know. You have to be strong to resist them. I'm strong. Maybe he's not. Sex has always been important to me. You know, um, it's always been a major part of my life. Except the last three years, two years, two years. Well, I'm saying two years. 
you know, the last two years. My wife has been through a major accident. I've been through a major uh, cancer. So, you know, but I, I still think a lot about it. I just don't, you know, uh, mentally I'm still 100%. Physically, I, you know, <laughs> thank God for the little blue pills. My wife was having a set for me to keep her job, that's why, otherwise I'd have sacked her. Sometimes they would stay overnight and uh, Eva would introduce them into uh, Christmas. She didn't squirt, she peed on my face, she pissed on my face. She just, I was going, you know, we were doing 69 and I was obviously so good at it. And uh, she actually said, stop, 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 and I didn't stop. <laughs> And then the next thing is I get a face full of urine. You've never had any gay experiences, have you? Uh, oh yeah. Here's a story. Oh, should I tell you this? You should. I should. I was at a swingers party. Mm -hmm. uh, late 70s. And we were in the orgy situation where people were just mingling and I had a girl sitting on my face, I had a girl going down on me, a girl going down on me, two girls, wasn't particularly good and then I had another girl don't go down on me, absolutely fucking marvellous woman and yo. You were to do the girl on top of my face, climax got off. I looked up, fucking guys giving me a blowjob. <laughs> it didn't gross me out, but it was just like, I didn't want him to finish. I didn't want to, <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want to finish because there was more fucking to be done. But the thing is that it was like, I was, shocked by it but afterwards it was like really confusing because I couldn't kind of get into my head but I was enjoying what he was doing <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. she good. knows what to do <laughs> all she fucking does is a bloke <laughs> you know does that make me gay <laughs> Oh, fucking, um, you know, for, 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 forget about it, you know, like, one, two, three, four, right on this five, one screen. <laughs> six. She was before. Seven. Eight. Wait, you're talking about girls nine, you've had sex with on this yeah, one screen. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> Shit, but don't tell fucking God. Sorry, oh, 12! That one, those, that one, that one, that one, those, those two after that shoot. Um, that one, that one, that one, that one, uh, that one, that one. Oh, fuck out of it. Well, I guess the question becomes, if you had to guess, how many girls have you had sex with in your life? 500. I have no bloody clue why. To be honest, I make them laugh. And not my good looks, and it's definitely not my money. Another big show is in there. It can be done a different way. I've more or less said that in the, in the, uh, in the letter. Oh, you wrote him a letter too? Yeah. Hi Fabian, here is the content and paperwork. With so much porn produced today, the only way to make one scene different from the next, besides changing the location and scenario, which everybody does, is to make the girl real to the viewer. Will be a few more years before I'm fit enough to do this job full time. By then the industry will have continued to change and I will be sitting on the sidelines and watching. Will you be coming to the show in Prague? Would like to buy you a beer for giving me the chance to see how far my recovery has gone. We could be mates. We could be colleagues in the same industry. We can be pleasant to each other. 
and the boards will always fight. But that's the same with a lot of people. Damien, last time I saw him, bought me a beer. Thanks, Damien. Thank you, Fabian, for giving me the chance. I felt good about achieving what I achieved. I'm very happy that I've taken the next step. I'm not happy that I couldn't come back and shoot next week full time, but I got very close to death. All right. Nothing you can change now. Dude, done. Done deal. Done deal. Bye. <laughs> I'd like something to do. I'd rather have, it, not for the money, I'd like to have something to do because I do feel that, you know, I've now got Raja, so I've got a bit more to do, but I do feel sort of unfulfilled. Yeah, that's what I miss. I miss that fulfillment feeling. I'm not contributing anything really. That's the problem with retirement, is I'm not contributing. I'm doing things, but I watch TV, I read a book, I troll on GFY, I'm just as bad as some of those trolls. Um, Tomorrow we get a dog. Yay. Little puppy, a boxer. Little boxer. boxer. When I was about the same age as our daughter, we had a boxer um, when I was nine. Mm. So they can grow up together. So I can train the dog to bite her if she's being a problem. So you did not name him Fabian? No! Boxer! He likes other dogs. Look, that's how you go. Like that. Walking. Come and have a look at the river. <laughs> you coming? Don't sit down. Come on. Do you want to be carried? Come on. Oh. A couple of weeks time, you'll be pulling me. You are getting ah. Now, 98, this beautiful young Czech girl walked into my life. And instead of retiring in 2000 and going and sit, sitting on a beach in Thailand, mm. she dragged me to the Czech Republic. She was Czech. Oh, she is Czech. I've never looked back. Never been so happy. I love her more today than I did when I married her. It is a great marriage. I've got a great little, little daughter. And... They're both the sunshines of my life.